think it's a I'm, player I'm, I'm, who, who can see why he's uh, in the loop. I'm honestly like, I think you can. I I've think started you definitely sweating can. because I'm stressed. Yeah. Because to think that someone like Makaleli can be ab above Kevin De Bruyne on a best midfielders ever list. How in the world, how in the world do you have Michael Essien above Kevin De Bruyne? What does Michael Essien do in a game that's better than Kevin De Bruyne? Oh, you're on time, bro. It's in your cup, bro. What's that, Henny? He's trying to be the fan favorite. Oh, fan man. favorite moves. <laughs> we like them. He's young. He's young with the clout chasing, man. It's he clout chasing. We can't let him be. We can't. You're one of the young ones with clout chasing, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know exactly oh, me. Go. You know my intro. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Let's let him shoot. Do you know what this is? You should know by now. You should know by episode two. <laughs> you should Topic know today episode. Best midfielders Premier League era It's a big one Is everyone ready? Come on Are these lists ready? You know what it is What midfielders What midfielders Make sure you You, are, you let everyone yeah, know because What those positions are So the positions There's no Right wing There's no left wing There's no It's just Defensive mid Centre mid Holding Center attacking mid, Cam, 10. That's the list. Come on. I'm happy. Let's go. It's your boy, MJ. W-A-G-W-A-N-M-J on all socials. Deny. Government name. You know who it is by now. Juju J, a.k.a. Clout Chaser. A.k.a. Clout Chaser. A.k.a. He's not going to, he's going to say it. Daddy Fat Sack, baby, We've coming no at you one live. Ever coming at you live. The thing is, I've never heard this until no until, until this whole thing. So, <laughs> aka, I don't know, I don't know where it's coming from, but no one has ever. <laughs> We're here today. We're here. Bangers Techers. <laughs> oh no! Quickest, these dudes quickest to a million Texas. followers on Twitter. Come on, follow Both me. Of these dudes are peak. Come on. Just brothers, bogus. just the the brothers are a bit bogus. The householders there. follow, 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 like, subscribe, follow, like, subscribe. Not him. <laughs> At Denai Gapari personal account, not the fan P account. PSNL. PSNL. We won't forget that he had Let's that go. just quietly. But Mr. Anyway. Deep. Aka Debo. Alright, we're gonna kick this off. Who wants? To, you want me to go first? Go first. Leader, bro. You leader, bro. My number ten. Honestly, when I first, my first memories of watching football, he was, he was there. Matt Letizia was number 10 for me. I hear that. I Excellent. Had, Excellent I start. This guy, whew. I remember, shouts out to, to my dad. He used to get all the, all the cassettes, <laughs> all the vi video tapes, are, the football <laughs> videotapes. And yeah, Letizia no, was- Pause, pause. Do you know what a cassette is? <laughs> Nah, he only knows um, Blu-ray. I think, <laughs> I think, I think he knows. That's because you guys still use like a mobile. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> all right. Let me just say, I'm not similar age to these guys. Obviously, they are all, un they are all uncles. Twenty. So our lists 20, are very different. Twenty-five. This guy's thirty-five. Thirty-nine. Thirty. Thirty. He did um, thirty. Yeah, flat. I don't know. Something. <laughs> oh my so God. obviously, Simba. there's Baby varying degree of age. Though. So I mean, Matt Letizia, that's Matt way Letizia before me. Love. That's way that's before me. You want me beautiful. to let you know he's in my list? A beautiful player that's to watch. That's way before me, man. Not being a midfielder for me, I, I wasn't quite sure where to place him without that bias, but I think I could definitely name him in my top 10 players that I really enjoyed watching. The way he scored goals. He scored bangers. A lot of goals as well. Yeah, was he scored over 100 goals. 450 games. In the Prem. It was like 155 or 65 goals. For not being a like a beautiful athlete or like a, a fit and at strong Southampton quick guy well. yeah. at Southampton. My guy was, <laughs> awesome. yeah, he was playing pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> My guy said he was playing pregnant. He had a, he had a eight pound baby in there at times. <laughs> yeah, nah. It's a good I shot. I'm going to 
called, it's called Second Nat. Letitia was my number 10 too. Really? Yeah, bro. Look at Come you on. coming through with the nice list. Come on, man. Same, Come on. Don't let this guy, don't let this guy. Don't let this guy talk to you bro. Like nah, don't man. Me and Wagwan over there are going to be, we're going to be beefing today, I can tell. Oh, my my, my number 10 is Michael Essien. See, he was on the fringe for me too. He was, he was definitely fringe oh, for me. Was like different. <laughs> And my number 10, Michael Essien. Come, Come on. on. Oh, <laughs> These guys are just a bit racist. They yeah. don't have that many black oh players on their days. list, I can tell. Yeah. Shots but we'll true. represent for the Black Stars. Michael Essien, DM, you know, midfielder. Could DM, get box CM, to box. AM he could, you know, he's scoring big Jamie. goals. He can do what he wants. He's, he's right breaking back. up play. He's, he's doing back everything. Back he's doing everything that you want of the modern midfielder. He's Wait, like he a, he a player now that would be in his mold would be like a Thomas Party type type guy. Yeah, he's that geezer, I'm telling you. It's a great shout. Yeah. Thank you, man. What are you saying, Sam? You're number nine. You want me to run it? Run it, bro. All right. I'm saying, let me get this thing open. At number nine, I have... I, I, you guys might feel he should be a bit higher, but I have Man City legend David Silva. Number nine. I think he should be a bit higher. Too. That's cool. I don't feel That's like he should be higher because he's not in my list. It's, he's not in my list, but it's, I wouldn't say it's a bad shout. I yeah. think... To be to be honest, locking down a top ten is always going to be you're always difficult. Excluding somebody, mm. but that's not a bad shout. That's yeah, not a bad shout. So I think he's overrated. His accolades and what he's done. Wait, 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 what he's done. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, let's stop, 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 stop. Reel it back. Reel it back, man. Reel it back. Overrated. This man's yeah, overrated. I think he's overrated. Why? Why? Please, I, 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 I don't think he does. You know enough consistently. I think he's a good player. I think he's like consistently. I think he where he's regarded. That let me let me say that like you can be excellent and be overrated and i think he's he's regarded as like a top top 10 player as you put him but i don't think he's top he's, 10 midfielder yeah, yeah. where would no, you put him uh he'd probably be in my 20 to 30 type Ooh, type 20 list to 30, 20 that's 30. a value that's yeah. a value yeah, that's it's not no, 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 it's no, not no, 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 no. 20 to 30 i think that's i can it. find 20 midfielders in the prem that are better that i that i think are better I mean, it's, I don't think it'll be. Dude. I don't think it's outlandish to say there's 20 midfielders 20. that have played Prem era that are better than David Silva. 20. I don't like think for me, is, I don't think there's 20 to 30. 20 is outlandish. That's outlandish, bro. If it was Five 10 is. to 20, but so if he's I, I could, if he's 19 and if he's 21, is that, that it's, it's not crazy. So yeah, but I feel like there's there's not that much difference between like 10 to 20. When you say so, like, you're saying he's hot. He's he's next of the 10. You think he's no, in I the next couple? Well, I well I I I didn't put him in my 10. But I would never have been like he's twenty to thirty. I, I I never thought about him when compiling my list. I was never like, oh. Yeah, I had a list of fifteen that I cut down to ten, and he wasn't in that fifteen. So he's higher. He's higher than fifteen for me. Bio. I think since he came to City, they've literally been the best team in England. They've been that dominant yeah. in that period of time, and he's a big Absolutely. reason. Part for of that. It. I think he's, he's a good player. Don't I get think me he's wrong. A big reason. He's a very for good it. player, but. I mean, yeah. So what about his game, would you say? Uh, I think like Jeremy thinks- Top 20 player. He thinks that if you, you swapped him out for someone who people don't think is as highly rated, they would do that same job or a better job. That's what he thinks. That same job, I'll say. And what's that same job? Like, I think you could, you could mix a number of players in, in that City team throughout the years that were, you know, playing similar levels to him and it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Like, it would be the same. I the don't same. think that City team's been the same since he left. He, what? He, they, they, you think they're going to win the league this no, year? This year uh, until this season. He left at the end of last season. Last season? No, it wasn't. Yes, he yeah. did. It was two seasons ago. No, he uh, played last year. I yeah. can't remember. I didn't he play it's last all right. Year? I understand if you don't watch the games, cool. Oh, brush your teeth. But <laughs> come on, you can't be ambition. making claims like that. I don't I think they've been left, the same since he left, he left but I think they're going to win the league. But I don't know when he left the league is what you're saying. So obviously he wasn't that noticeable. He wasn't that noticeable for you. Because you didn't realize list. he left. He's, list. I, he's got a whole body of work. He does have a whole body of work. Whole body and this is why he made my list. I think the fact that he's won four titles is a big deal as well. It is. He's a good player. He's a and, very good and player. And I, when I watch him play, I'm like, this guy is an amazing footballer to watch. I, I and think I think I he has so. a big effect on the game. Even though his stats aren't as high as attacking mids who get praised, I think that his effect on the game, that's not scoring and getting assists, but he's there, always there. He's so comfortable on the ball. He keeps the ball under pressure. And yeah, I think he's great to watch. What are you saying, Jeremy? What's your number nine? <laughs> my number nine is, uh, it's probably going to be my most scrutinized pick of this list, I, I think. think. We have the same number nine. I don't know. I don't think we do. <laughs> my number nine is my Frank story. Lampard. Oh, God damn. 
Yo, production. Mourinho, what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, sort that out. <laughs> what are you doing, Mourinho? Yo. <laughs> Can't be dropping things from her live and that. <laughs> um, Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. Number nine. At number you're nine. mad. Yeah. You are mad. Do you think? You Do you think mad. just based on sheer output and trophies no, and success that he, was, he has he to be higher? I think he was mad. a bit more than output. No, I'm saying just based sheerly like, guy, on that, he's got to be his higher. Just, now this, just on that. His intro and then now this? Yeah, just These on that. These are the that? best midfielders in Prem era. And I'm, I'll say right now, looking at my list, there's, there's one player. You better not have Roy Keane in your list. There is one player who is in this list who I don't think is a better footballer than Frank Lampard but I think they have more effect on a team. There's one player. Everyone else in the list, I think is a better football than Frank Lampard. I don't think I can let Lampard at nine land. I can't let Lampard at nine uh-huh. land. No way. But yeah. So nah. what's what's your reasoning for him to be nine? I think he's a great player. I think he's, he's, he's uh, I know, stats, I, goals, assists, that they speak for itself. In terms of playing ability, um, Comfortable on the ball, ability in a. I just don't think he's 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 one of the greatest players ever in those terms. Obviously, stats wise, that's a big reason why trophies he's on anyone's list. He's won trophies, definitely, but I th- I think maybe except for one player on this list, everyone else has won trophies as well. So it's the top ten. And, I mean, and I'm not going to argue the whole your whole fact about. Him my as, list. As to pr- I'll, pr- I'll I'll preface my list now. It's it's heavily based on how I think they are their footballing ability more so than than output. So if 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 you're criticizing me because you know his output is high, yeah, fair enough. I'll wear that. But the rest of my list will will demonstrate think, that that's that's, that's the thing I'm I've gone with. I think just I'm, I'm I think I, I purely think exactly. I'm can't be, yeah. I think he can't be what was that nine? I can't yeah. be, he can't be nine. nine. I think he can't be nine. My number nine, Michael Essien, it's been said, Baller did it all. I'm vexed about you having Lampard at nine. That's all right. That's all right, man. You're saying Michael, what's your number nine? My number nine for me was I'd argue, and this is probably a bias, I'd argue in terms of footballing ability, he's one of the nicest players I've seen, like I've seen as a midfielder. I think he's one of the most two foot players I've ever seen as a player as well in the midfield. And I'm going to go with Santi Cazorla. See, for me, I can, see I, for I, me, I, I as purely list. as a footballer, Santi Cazorla, wonderful. But to make the Korea, top 10 Korea. midfielders yeah, ever in the Premier League, it can't land, it, it can't land it at can't all. Land. It and really can't. My, my, my argument is definitely in terms of career, he doesn't have the output or the seasons, but I just think purely as a footballer, this guy was just amazing. He was a wonderful player. And that's why he's at nine for me. I just, I, I don't think, I think, I think you not having David Silva, but then having, having, well, I, I think it's a violation. Well, I, I don't think it's a violation. I just think he's a far better footballer as a player. He is a far he's better a most, footballer. He's a better footballer. He's he's a better footballer. Two foot player I've seen. Like I think that so is I more think, outlandish than Jeremy having Lampard at I, Thank you. Cause I needed somebody to say it. Otherwise I would I sound, think it but the thing is sound bitter. Bio. I'd but sound bitter. So you, so you think, you think me saying him as like a In wonderful the top player. T- I don't think Santi Cazola comes top 20. Why not? As a footballer, cool. Yeah. But then don't don't if say anything talking, to me about having Lampard at nine because he's not a better footballer than anybody else on the list except for one person, and that person's a DM. There's, I think there's no he's no way he's a better footballer. I than think the majority of world class players. I think that Lampard's in the same I conversation because he has a crazy output and he's a good footballer, but he's not levels in terms of footballing ability. Like near the best players ever, and that's who he's compared to. How many so, seasons? So you, so you, so you think, so you think there's a justification that Lampard can be way ahead of David Silva because of his output. Is is roughly what you're saying? Well, I don't got, think David Silva's that great. Bad. That's I've why he's him, not in my list. I got him next to each other. To I think honest. David. I think David Silva's a good footballer, but I don't think he's where you guys think he is in terms of football. That's I've why he's not on my list. Lampard has got the output, and he's a good footballer, Definitely. but he's not. He's not. One of the best footballers ever. No, but this is he's not in those levels. Yeah, but he is put in that conversation of levels. No, yeah, Three best players of England ever. He's put in those well, conversations. Of, of England, of course. Course. No, England, but England throughout the whole time they've been a, a, a footballing nation. They compare England as one of the best countries in the world. But if you're and saying those players are compared with the best players in the world. If, if you're saying Lampard is one of the best English players, why is that? That's that. I think that's definitely justified. Lampard's one compared the best. footballing ability wise to Xavi, Iniesta. They're in the same conversation. 
They're in the same but conversation. Well, but there's they are. Do you, do you think? Do you I think so? I don't think they're in the same conversation. They are. They, they are. are. You, personally, it's I a conversation. personally think that Shavin and Yester are in the Absolutely. tier above. They're in Definitely. the same Absolutely. conversation. I, I, they're in the same from, conversation. From my perspective, in my opinion, I don't think they're in the same conversation. I don't think they're in the same conversation. No, 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 I'm not putting them in the same conversation. conversation. They definitely are in the same conversation. I don't think they are. I mean, we can take a word for it. I'm not saying they're in. I'm not saying they're in. Yeah, but if Denai has heard this, heard this take heard this as well, it's not just me who's presenting that take. Just to play in our era, yeah, in our Lampard's, era, Lampard's in that conversation. Gerard, all them Donny, and I don't think footballing ability wise, I mean, he is there. You haven't referenced, you haven't even said skulls. I think I know, he's the next one. I think them, those three. I think skulls. The three best midfield, the three English midfielders, Lampard, skulls. That's what I was Gerard, saying. So the ones that are in the conversation yeah, okay, so with Xavi and Iniesta yeah. and them Donny's there. So if if they're in the top three, then why is it it's then I think he should be higher. If who? he, if you could say, if you could say he's that- He's saying, it's not his top three, he's saying. Yeah. So I'm he's saying it's what people think. So he's saying this is based purely off what he thinks, but I also don't agree with that. And I also don't agree that Lampard is compared to Iniesta and Shaq. I don't, I don't agree at all. You don't agree with it because it's not no, my take. It is a no, take I'm, people I'm, have. I'm saying it's I a heard, common I've take. Never heard but, that but take. If the if golden generation of England is compared with the best midfielders ever. That's why they say like, I don't know how we didn't win the World Cup. Yeah, I don't know Beckham how we didn't do this. I don't know how we didn't do this because they had all those Beckham, three players in the same Lampard, team. Gerard, Scholes, in the, the same the team, they had those three players and they felt like they should be competing with any top team in the world yeah. because they had those three players. I think from my perspective, I, I've just got to assume that what you've heard is what a lot of people are saying. I haven't heard that. <coughs> so personally, I don't agree that that's a, an opinion because I haven't heard yeah, that. I haven't heard For me, that. the most common opinion or comparison is usually Gerard Scholes if it's compared to those guys. Yeah. But I've never, I've generally never yeah. heard- So you don't think too. Lampard has, has been in the conversation for best midfielders, so how can you best midfielders, that's yeah. it. He came third you don't think he's, no, he's been in? I mean, like, he, he's, he's been ca compared in maybe what, the top 10? But he's never been compared Bro, on the same exact level. You don't, as, let me as, land, as, let me land. You like Ballon d'Or, yeah? You like that voting system. Didn't Lampard come like third in some Ballon d'Or? Like I'm sure way. he's placed high. I like the he has. And, and that's, was, you're, was, you're not telling me that's because he's an, he's an amazing footballer. No, but it's the same reason why other players get win Ballon d'Or. Okay, so that's like, what I'm saying. And you so, keep that energy. So no, why I is know. it strange when I'm I say saying, Lampard I'm saying is he's, that case? I'm saying he's slightly low. In my opinion, you know what's funny? I'm saying he's lower. I'm, I'm not, not saying. saying yeah. go, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I'm think. saying how you've now got Santi Cazorla in the in the top it's ten Premier League players when he had a career of like, and then you have Lampard above for one Three or two years. games, and I have, and you have Lampard above Santi Cazorla when you know when Santi Cazorla is in this list purely because of his footballing, of footballing ability. ability. What's wrong with that? If, but then, if, I, if I'm including in- But then don't say I'm, Lampard should be higher well, because me, he's of football. Of course I can say- No, higher. I'm saying for me, if I'm saying football ability wise, he doesn't compare to the other players on my list. You're still telling me he should be higher. Well, why would I, I'm not, I'm not critiquing, I'm not saying Lampard's, the reason why he's high is his footballing ability. I'm including his trophy su success. I'm including- um, I'm saying why you could, done why are you saying Chelsea? he should be higher on my, like he, that I'm, can't I'm just land, saying inclusive that he should be higher. A good player, like a, a, a good, a great midfielder. He's, he also has all these things to add as well. I'm saying Santa Cozzola is there because as a footballer, he was just one, one of the most impressive footballers I've seen as a player. And that's it. That's my criteria. I'm not saying that's the only criteria I'm using for every single midfielder. I'm just saying the reason why he's made it in is because I thought he was such a great player. Uh, I, think I, I think I understand you, you learn, but I, that's I, all. Like, I'm, I I'm just, not using the same, I'm not using no, the, know, same you're not using the same definition. Both and the reason them. why Lampard is high for me is because of all the other personal accolades that he had, which to me outweighs yeah, just yeah. being an amazing player. Which I don't think but warrants Santi Cazola being in your list. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my fine. personal opinion. That's fine. Yeah. But that, that's that's my stance. List. I'm not saying, oh, he's, he's, he's on but the same level. But you're saying for you, that's I'm why. No, 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 I'm not saying you're saying Santi Cazola and Lampard are on the same level. I'm just saying Lampard should be higher, in my opinion, than where you put him because he has all this additional stuff, which a lot of midfielders might not have. Consistently. But if I'm saying my premise is the main criteria is their footballing ability, then, you, then he's not going to be higher. And he's, he's, he's sure. Uh, okay. Sure. And, uh, that's cool. Right. I'm, just saying, I'm just saying from my perspective, right. my criteria for this, so for this entry was him being such an amazing player. You, you might not agree and that's fine, but me watching- No, I, I agree sport. completely. Yeah. But I think it will, it will be uh, it's interesting it's to see who else is on your list. Yeah, it will be. Right, what were we saying? Me, number nine. My number nine. I've got this guy. I thought he was like kind of my first. How do I say this? He was the first DM that I thought was like levels. So Santi Cazorla, sorry, is your 10? No, he's nine. 
nine. Oh, so why did you not do your nine? I did my nine. Mm. So no, so we're doing it's nine or eight. It's like we're up to eight. eight we're so up to eight. eight, so it's MJ about okay. to run his eight. My, my bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, it's calm. <laughs> no, I was we're confused. So for me, in terms of how this player, I guess, in a way revolutionized football in his positioning um, in that Chelsea side, for me, my number eight is Makalele. Bruv, that's my number, number eight, bro. He was different. He was the first DM I, that I saw. No, he was the first proper. I underst- I underst- he was the first proper He was the first DM, DM that he I did saw. Very proper, well. yeah. No, I understand you. Do you bits but in that Chelsea team? Do you, oh think, do you think being the first one weighs a lot more than being a better one? Do you think that weighs more? Do you think- I'm assuming they have the better one. Well, I have the better one. Oh, okay. So uh, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have Makaleli in my list. That's, yeah. that's fine. But yeah. for me, if you're the first to do something very and I well- think, I think also because that's not my time as yeah. well. So And I don't think Makaleli is a better player than Essien. Yeah, I don't think he's a better player than Essien, so that's why I have Essien. And, and Essien has the accolades. And I, yeah, so I mean- He has accolades too. Not, nowhere near no, as many no, as Essien. Nowhere near, obviously, because he's- But he's yeah, to, at Chelsea Longer, for but. him to be that that um, first like proper DM, when you think of, it's li- they literally named it like the Makalele yeah, role. Yeah, I mean. Like, so I, I think, mean- I think in, like, sure, if, if you get like, a Like I'm not arguing that you have him. And you are very good. And it probably means you know, something to you guys to have him team. on the list. Like, I hate play, I hate him Arsenal playing Chelsea, because I'm like, yeah, we're going to get peppered. And I think at the time as well, he was playing against some serious. Some serious I serious think so. For me, in my in my opinion, if you put a lot of the DMs in the world now into that position and in that team, then I think they're a lot better because no, but the reason because why you think wait wait, wait no let me just the let me let me say involved around that DM position now nah, let me say Total something football is about that DM position let me say something because yeah. under pressure on the ball he didn't have to be as great as people do now that play DM and in midfield. Under, retain the ball under pressure. No one cared about McAuley if he if he's like not tidy on the ball, keeping it under pressure. McAuley was they good cared. on the ball, man. Yeah, but he's not, he's not levels player. like that. He's not levels like that. Like the DMs in the world are now. Like someone, for instance, Casemiro, in my opinion, is by far like- Fabinho is a better player than McAuley. Yeah, in my opinion, like, he is. We're, well, obviously, uh, we're saying Makaleli, but you're not telling me Makaleli is better at yeah, anything than Fabinho. I don't no, think he is. He's not you. better. Yeah, it's maybe the 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 nostalgia and the bias, first person to do it. But he's he's not a better footballer, and he's not better defensively than somebody who's a beast physically, running around, covering so many Ks, winning the ball back. He's not better. I personally, I don't think he is. I think he's better, and I think my my biggest. My biggest call out is if you're looking at somebody that essentially had a position created for them compared to now that position being such a key position in football, then of course you're going to have players who are going to refine that position and, and essentially maybe become better in that position. Of course. But, I mean, but if you're the first to do something, of, I think that has a lot of weight and, and, and do it well. He wasn't, Michael Elliott wasn't no, no. bad on the he ball. He wasn't a scrub. You can't, he yeah, wasn't a scrub. I, I, I didn't say he was. I just I said, didn't say that either. That you you can say that and you should give him props for being the first. That doesn't mean he's a better player than than others because he was the first. No, no, but I think people he, saw him. I saw yeah, him do cool. It. He I was he was a contributing was factor. They they maybe took, you know, inspiration from him, but there there's there's a lot better players than Makaleli in my opinion. I agree. In the in, same role in the Prem. Who do prem? who yeah. have played in the Prem, who play now that I wouldn't so. get the credit that Makaleli got because I think he was the first. There's a lot of but players. But they're doing it to the same ability, definitely. I think, I think Fernandinho is the, is the same. I think he does not, he would never get that respect. Fernandinho would never get no that respect at the end way. of his career. And I think on the ball, he's above the player. And defensively, Fernandinho is a beast. Yeah, Fernandinho is a good player. He's literally a beast. Prefer, but like he's regarded as a good player he's now because there's so many players that can play like that. But they're doing it to a higher level than Makaleli, even though he was the first, which I, again, it's 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 mad. He was the first guy and to do that sort of stuff. And it's also not me trying to be like it's Makaleli cool. was average and not great. But I think these guys do that job better than he did. No, it. but you can argue that point because it's different generations. Like with now we're comparing. But the list is 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 the whole prem era. Yeah. So you can pick. Shoot. We like. So, example, so do you think you have a recency bias yeah, for players yeah, that you you yeah, you you've, you're def- you've definitely watched I've, more now than Makaleli? My my players that are higher up my list don't play now. For example, right? Yeah. 
No, I'm 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 saying because you, you called out Fernandinho as yeah, being. Yeah, I know that. You yeah. called out Fabinho yeah. as being better. Yeah. Is that more a recency bias, or do you I generally think? I, I genuinely think better. they're better players. I, I think the bias works the because opposite. I don't think you can tell me what they do, what McAuley well, does why would better. Why work the opposite? I think if, the, I, if I watch those, players I said it was nostalgia. I think the bias works the opposite because you. When was the last time you watched McAuley play? You remember him being. You remember all the mad things he used to do, like the mad. You're not remembering the bad games, but you're not remembering when McAuley was found out or the games he he wasn't up to standard. I whereas, bias. whereas well, 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 it, from in that argument, then why would we reference older players? Then why would why would we do that? If 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 that's but the then, argument, no. But you're but saying we, you're have saying we have the recency bias, bias and we're saying say well, the bias can work in a different way. We're both we're, ways. We're watching them yeah. in so every facet. Both be biased. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. There you go. So my my point is, of course, he's gonna. It's gonna look like if you're comparing his style of play to football style of play now, and how that defensive midfield position has become such a a standard. Of course, the standard I think would be a lot better now. So I think it's easier to then say, based on now, these players are way better. Because I think the standard of football generally is a lot better. Yeah. So uh, my eight's already been said. It's Matt Letizia. One of my favorite players ever to watch. Keep it moving now. What are you saying, Sam? Number think eight. My eight, I have Angolo Kante. I, I think. Uh, what are you arguing about? Making the top t- I don't know if he's. Nah, this is this is now where have, I have the biggest problem with. Yeah, you. I know, I know. I, you I, have Makaleli, but I, 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 but I think Kante has had a larger impact, a way larger I impact think in that same two position. And a half good seasons. No, nah, I don't I think, think so. I think, I think, I think what he does in the seasons is yeah. not even regarded. He's doing more. And, than and what what frustrates me about Kante is the season that that Leicester season, like this guy was phenomenal. He, you didn't have an expectation. Yeah, he was phenomenal. phenomenal. And then the next season, he backed that backed shit up. up. And then he won Player and of the Season. he backed it up again. McAuley's not winning Player of the Season ever. He's not ever being that guy to everyone be like, he's Player of the Season. And I think it's so easy for a player to come out of nowhere and just disappear. This guy hasn't disappeared. He hasn't, he hasn't disappeared. I just think, I don't know, maybe I'll hold him to... Maybe I'm holding him to the standard of the first two seasons, the Leicester and the first Chelsea season. I think. But I think he's had. A I drop think his standard now. His drop off standard, standard is higher, higher than McAuley's standard. Definitely. That's what I think, in my opinion. And I think he is. Uh, <laughs> I do not think you can have McAuley and not Kante in yeah. the same list. And I think, I think my so. biggest but Kante for me is that ten to twenty range. For me, but the thing is, right? You guys, you guys mentioned drop off is higher. Cool, but don't you think? So wait, 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 wait! I didn't drop off. off. Like Kante's drop off is high. I didn't. That was no, 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 no! I didn't say that. I, I didn't. Think, I, I said. I said off. even if he had dropped off, he's still playing he's at a level higher that's higher than, than And don't can't you? Wait, you don't think you he's agree? playing like that this year? Don't you? I think he's though. playing at a higher level than Makaleli played. Definitely this, year, this season. Yeah, so. ever. And I don't you think that. a big contribution to maybe his dip in performance was his? His role under Chelsea. Yeah, he changed, that, and that's why. And also, how yeah. outstanding and unplayable he was as a centre mid. Yeah, I think I'm that's so how they big the job. Into attack and midfield role, they did all this madness and put him out of position. That's why I can't give his what is it five years in the Prem? He's been there. For you don't think two seasons as the best player in the Premier League? Like unbelievable. I know. I'm, I'm saying and two more seasons and, and, as a very and, good and player. Yeah. Team, he's been good. A team people would not good. expect to do anything. I'm sa- and there was a point in the world at a time where people were saying Kante is the best yeah. midfielder, the best midfielder in the world. That was the point when they won the World Cup. 2018. Yeah, he was. I he, like went, he was the best. He also won the World Cup. Yeah, he and was, was and he was, a, was their well, best he was, midfielder. Yeah, he was the best. He was for me. He was the best DM. In I 20 think 20. you've had an absolute shock, and this I should just, not go. I think oh. for me, Kante is in that ten. Like he's he's like either eleventh, twelfth, or thirteenth for me. I just think that I think personally, as much as I rate Makalele, my argument similar to what you guys were saying earlier is I think in terms of his mobility and his ability on the ball, he's, he's good. Better. I just had him like eleventh, twelfth, or thirteenth. I don't. I, I hate I had, you. I, <laughs> <laughs> this guy you got, want, this guy went first and said, I hate Straight you. Away. <laughs> he said, I this don't, guy, he said, your football opinions make me not like you as so a person. Best. Oh my God. <laughs> he, bro, said, bro. he said straight, he said, I hate you. This man was talking about his perspective on football. You know? yeah, he said, In the same breath, he, he says Makaleli and and then says he, he just goes around and goes, I don't have Kante in my list. There's <laughs> no Kante way that can fucking fly. There's no way. Please. I don't have Kante on my list. I don't even think- my top 10. If you can tell me if ever Makaleli was Chelsea's best player, never. Of course he wasn't. 
Kante was Chelsea's best player. He won player of the season for the whole Premier League. And it was yeah, unanimous. Everyone awards, said, man. yes, Kante is the best player in the league. They won the league. He led them to winning the league. And he's a DM. He had the most effect on a game. And he's a DM. Yeah, I hear that, bro. I'm just letting you know. I don't yeah. think you hear it. Because you, you didn't put him on the list. You didn't about? put him on the list. Go brush your teeth, man. You're an idiot, bro. <laughs> Waste man, bro. <laughs> saying I can't hear it. Like, I got no ears. This guy said brush your teeth. <laughs> How are you saying Talking waste, shit, man, man? When you said, when you yeah. said, still talking. Yeah, you, you can't let that fly. Nah, you, you can't said, let that fly. Still no, he's trying to deflect. Yeah, he's trying to deflect. Bro, I, see team, sweat, bro. I see sweat yeah. dripping down yeah. that head, bro. Yeah. yeah. You're a pelican, you must bro. feel like Robin you Mugabe now. Yeah. You're a pelican, bro, man. That's Mugabe. what I'm saying, bro. It's Mugabe at the yeah. hearing. Look, my You know the first person to say move on, they're always wrong. If you say move on, now enough of this. Enough of this. Enough of this. He's not backing you. The guy to your left is not backing you. Don't talk to him. Hey, you know, I, thank God you got yeah, me, man. Yeah, hey, I, I'm distancing myself. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm this guy's dangerous, like, hey, hey, MJ, MJ, don't call my name. <laughs> I'm Just I'm know, dangerous, man. You, Tell me your number your, seven, bro. Your seven, yeah. you, Tell me your number Am seven, Am I number man. seven? Uh, his number oh, we'll, seven. Yeah, yeah, right. we'll go back. Chat we'll go you, back. Man. These guys. Yeah, all right. My number seven is Frank Lampard. It, it's, yeah. I had Listen, if anyway, if you have Lampard between 10-7. I had him high, to be honest. I agree. I have Frank Lampard there sheerly based on the fact that I don't think he's as good of a footballer as the players I have above him. That's the only thing. That's the only Adam reason. Hire. What are you saying, Jeremy? My seven is Kante. Damn. Yeah, not going to argue with that. After. Obviously, your seven isn't. So. My seven isn't Kante. Seven's Pulse goals. Oh, oh. oh. that's low. It's low for me, seven's but Paul it's low for me, but. Seven's Pulse goals. How many titles? It's low for me. And you think Pulse goals is important to the team? Six, you think there's six better Premier and League like midfielders than Pulse goals? I guarantee you, if you ask any. European he's one. outside of the UK. Yeah. He's yeah. different. They're saying yeah, this guy was the best. He's the, the, okay, I, don't I think him and Gerald are the only ones people outside of the UK are saying. About. Yeah. Them too. Guys are saying Paul Scholes is the best midfielder in the world. They, yeah. That's like, that's what If you ask saying. Iniesta a who are your top two, yeah. three, he'd, 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 he'd probably say Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes, at least. Did Zidane say that? Yeah. He said Paul Scholes is the best midfielder in the world. Shabby said Paul Scholes. I thought there were six players that I could pick better than him. It's a shit argument. But you haven't said Lampard? I haven't said Lampard yet. Yeah. Yeah. So you think, you think my, Lampard's I, better than Paul Scholes? I think Lampard's better. At what? Let me, let, oh, get this. <laughs> oh, why, why is this guy coming? Right, let's I'm allowed let's to let press shoot. you. Let's let him shoot. When you yeah, say bro. Fugazi shit, I'm allowed to press you. you got, uh, Paul Scholes, I can't have him seventh. No. Well, you can't I have him, you can't have Lampard after. I, I think I prefer Lampard as a player than Paul Scholes. Why? 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 Yeah. You'll find out why. Why can't we find out now? Well, I think oh, like, yeah, true, true. I find out why. We'll, we'll let, we'll let him go. I'm going to run a lamp We'll, we'll let him go when-, when, when Oh already. my God. All right, go, go. 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 MJ, team. go. Take this guy's spot. This is that. Go. go is this number seven? Sorry. I'm, no, oh no, this is number six. six. Yeah. So, for me, so Kante was, was seven. Lampard. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I agree with that. I'm not Stats. arguing with anyone who has 10 to six. I think my argument for him being six was- I'd say comparatively to the rest of the players, yeah. he was way more output based. Yeah. But I think the players preceding him do more than he does outside of his, his goals or his assists as well. So that's, I think that's his, for me, that's where he perfectly sits in the Prem. And I've got to give credit where it's due, his numbers. Yeah. Consistently. I pro, agree. Pro I the best agree. from midfield in, in, in the Prem. So and that's, that's not easy to do. Condone that? Condone that? I don't want to hear from you. Yeah, it's all right, bro. I'm done with listening to you. <laughs> Who's this number six? Go. Was that number? Yeah, yeah, so that was six. six. So wait, we at six? Yeah, this is deny six. Oh, MJ six. For me, oh, yeah. this is a player. This is biased and I don't even care, but I'm going to go my boy Fab. That was number six as well. That's my number six. That's my number six. No, yeah, it is. That's my crazy, bro. We all had Fabregas number six. <laughs> the six, everybody. He's, he's everything for me as like a midfielder. Like 17 to when he left Arsenal. Then and you can tell, back. you know, Arsenal didn't build around him when they should have. Yeah. yeah. They should have, you know, got more players. This guy was playing when Henri was still there, killing it. And if you ask Henri, he says that Wenger decided to, to, to create the team around this guy's game yeah. because of how good he was. Then they, they don't build enough. He leaves, goes to Barca, wins every trophy, comes back to Chelsea as a mature footballer oh, and he's he's the best midfielder in the Premier League. Prem. Yeah, he comes back. And they the win the league. The they win the league. So, you, yeah, I mean, that, you can't say that, anything that, about Fabregas. I mean, as a midfielder... Oh, link up he had with Costa? I think, I think as a midfielder, there is nothing in the game that he doesn't do. Like, there's nothing. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. He's a, like, it's everything He's you want. He's a complete want. footballer. Yeah, it's everything you want in a midfielder. So, I mean, 
six and six I think suits perfectly yeah. for him. I think if he had stayed in the Premier League and not gone to Barca, he's pushing top three in this list. Yeah, definitely. Just because but of longevity. Yeah, He'd be up yeah. there with, yeah, with definitely. the players I've got. Because his, his output would have been up there as well. He went to Barca and played false nine false for nine, even at Spain as well. Yeah, so Cup. I mean, this guy can do it all. Can so, do it all. and you've got to be a special player to what be. What couple Euros yeah. he played false nine? Euros, Euros. Yeah. All right. So what are we saying? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm running my number five is Vieira. I think that's low. That's it is low. No, but it's low. It's very, very but low. I think the thing for me is, I didn't get to watch. Vieira at his best and in his prime playing oh, in those games to see shit. I didn't get to see Vieira being mad and doing all this so all but I can see fair. is after I can, I've seen that's these fair. players so after I'm like I don't think he's better than the rest of the players I have on my list I think based that's my on thing. age we've got we to let it go so I think that's the only justification I have properly top five but, be close but he's, he's also number number what number is that five. five number five on my list of best midfielders ever in the Premier League so. my number five is KDB nice Kevin De Bruyne does everything. He can he could he could can do everything. I don't think, I don't I think don't, for I, me he's in. He's not in my list. I don't oh, think he's not in your list. No, I think he's on my list. For me, he's, to, he's one of the the three. Jesus uh, Christ! I want to know who you guys. I don't, think, I don't think he's done enough yet. You don't think he's I done think enough? Yet. You don't think being the best midfielder in the world for? Th- I think I think, three I years. think for me he's at eleven, but I think f- I personally you don't I think I, I I can't justify for it me yet. out I and can't out. Justify it yet. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't justify it. I can't justify Kante yet. You justified Makaleli for why? Why? Six, seven good seasons. Six, six, good six seasons. seven good five seasons. seasons. Five good has Makaleli? Kevin De Bruyne has already had five, five seasons. Yes, I just personally the same amount of time. See, that's the what same I mean. amount that's of the time. Bias I was talking about MJ. The bias of. Thinking back and being like, this guy was amazing. No, no I agree. I, I agree remember. with that. We're literally watching De Bruyne Bro. right now be the best what? midfielder in like, the world. What? He's not in, in, not even at 10. If you had even said 10, I'm like, that's so, so Yeah, I would have said that's so low. So Like, you know what yeah. I mean? It's so far up the list, but you haven't even put Kevin De Bruyne in your list. Like this guy is outstanding, like amazing. And it's, he's City's best player. He, and he's yeah, been he City's best, best player. player. And, and he's got the accolades and he's the Got and a, he's got a, the out player of the season, and he's got the output. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think for me, I couldn't I couldn't justify him yet in the top ten. Yeah, not but I, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm right. Is that because he's still playing? Is that I why? Think, no, no, I think if no. his career ended today, you don't think he's in the top. I, I think I'd have to think about it and be like, hmm, he's yeah. maybe wow. better than this, I don't know, this, that. I don't know what- Ability-wise, definitely. I don't know what, how Michael Essien and McAuley can I be on this no list. Idea. And I have no idea. Kevin De Bruyne can't be. I don't, I don't know how- I like black people, bro. He's had, he's had- They love them white boys. <laughs> he's <laughs> had more impact to a team- I agree. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. any of the guys that have been named before him, in my opinion. I'll Except for that. me saying no, no, Vieira, maybe. Yeah. Say you forgot, right now I'll give you an out. No, I didn't forget, I'll give you an out. If you considered him and said, nah, and put Makaleli Essien- Above? Above Kevin De Bruyne? I had The him. sole reason Wait, Lampard's- I yeah, he had the sole and reason Lampard's in the conversation see, of Kevin I, I, De Bruyne's output. I'd put he's SCN, not the player. Of I'd put Sien like so. I'd put Sien at like fourteen hypothetically. I'd put I'd put De Bruyne lower than Sien. See, I was lower deciding, in the list. I was deciding on my. I told you when I was deciding on my tenth position over the likes of KDB, Kante, Letizia, Xavi Alonso over those type of players. Modric is even. I was considering him. Uh, is he your five or four? Five. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so that's. I'll, that's He's higher on the list for me. Those Fair are the type of players that I was talking about for that tenth position there, and I ended up going oh, with Tissier purely down to the output that he had. But Kevin De Bruyne has the output. Yeah, that's oh, right. Tissier output. He's got output right. for a midfielder He's who's not even an midfielder who plays midfielder. in eight. He's an yeah. awesome player. He's, I'm not, dude, and it's, it's close margins we're chatting about here. I, I think thinking about it now. Close to list. I'm not close. I think for me thinking about it now, I I. Probably could have added him. In no I think, world, I, can see why I think he's in my list. justification. I can see why he's in the list. Yeah, it's just. I can definitely see why. I he's don't in the think list. it's a player I'm, who, I'm, who can see why he's uh, in the list. I'm honestly. Like, I think you can. I I've think started you definitely sweating can. because I'm stressed. Oh, yeah. Because oh. to think that someone like Makaleli can be ab- above Kevin De Bruyne on a best midfielders ever list. How in the world? How in the world do you have Michael Essien above Kevin De Bruyne? What does Michael Essien do in a game that's better than Kevin De Bruyne? I think you like the aspect of. Kevin De Bruyne is attacking and Marcos and was what? More he is players. like one of the hardest working players in the yeah, Kevin De Bruyne wins the ball back so much. I know. He's a I beast. Every I facet like of the game, he's a more. beast. 
Simple as that. <laughs> Allow it. No, Kevin I can't. Kevin De Bruyne was eleventh or twelfth for me. Why are you getting at me about my picks? If your if your if your picks are based on who you like more, yeah, I think he had a better career. He, he hasn't had, had a better, better career. career. To date. What has he done? Like him. What in his career is better than what De Bruyne's done? Mm. Essien and Makaleli. Makaleli especially. Not one of them have Mac ever Lely been. Not one of them have ever been the best midfielder in the world. Created for him. It S- means nothing. It means it means nothing in the baller. grand scheme of S- what, and how he's S- better S- as a player. And Makaleli have never ever been the best midfielder in the world ever, ever, ever. Kevin De Bruyne has been the best midfielder without a doubt for the last three years in the world. Who he's would been, you say midfield wise compares have, to him? Have been comparable in the prem, like right now, to to KDB, like right now, yeah. I don't think there's anyone. I don't think. I think he's on a tier by himself. By himself. Would you say? Would you say? Based on that, there's not much com- like comparison. No, I think that's how good he is. The tier because is right different. Because think about how I was comparing players from now to Makaleli and Essien. So, and that's where I have De Bruyne so far ahead of those players who I'm saying are better than Makaleli. I just uh, don't have him in my top 10. Yeah, it's a shocker. That's all right. Allow it. I think, I think my perspective is um, so KDB might be playing in a time where he might not have the same level of competition. So we're taking applications around. for the show. Um, the uh, the, the, the <laughs> email will go down here. Just send your email through. Some of these, some of these seats need to be replaced. So what, what's, what's, no, what's the howler? Allow it, allow it, allow it, bro. Allow it, allow <laughs> not having it. Kevin De Bruyne is the biggest. Not having N'Golo Kante and Kevin De Bruyne. If you don't even have Kante. Move on. That that alone was like you fucked up your list because you put and Mike then, not Kante. And then now, now you, you both have De Bruyne. You both don't have De Bruyne. Ah, go go. My I'm argument sorry. for De Bruyne yeah, was no, go. at I'm this point in time, <laughs> he's not done it yet for me. I just wasn't what sure he if he done? was in the he's ten. Not, he's not in the what? Point in what time. is there left for him I'm to do? Gonna, no. Is it win the league? No, nope, he's done that. Is it be the best player in the world? Uh, best midfielder in the world? He's done that. Best midfielder in the league? He's done that. Thiago as a midfielder. Yes. Last season. Yes. I swear you were talking about how Thiago is the best midfielder. I said he's one of the best midfielders in the world. world. Yeah, one of the best midfielders in the world. De Bruyne won player of the season. He's done that. Best midfielder on his team. He's done that. You're not. uh, uh, Five good seasons. He's done that. De Bruyne has 11th or 12th for me. That's what I think. Allow it. But what's your justification? I'm so confused as to what it is. For you having someone like, with the likes of Makaleli and then not having De Bruyne, and you say he hasn't done enough. No wonder you're wearing that, had- that England strip. <laughs> you're working for the FA Scouting. My days. <laughs> oh my, oh god. my god. Uh we're gonna keep moving. Go, go, get this off my phone. So my list. number fifth, my number five, yeah? yeah. The reason why I had him over Cess is purely because of he won titles. He was an integral figure to this team winning titles. Is he, he a better player? Before. Is he a better player? Just I, say it before I you. I think he. I think they're quite, they're very close. They're very similar. Like it's very small margins. But I personally think that David Silva is my fifth. Oh. Really because he was able to then- You think David Silva did more in his career than Kevin De Bruyne? It's fucking- I'm telling you. David Silva has never been the best midfielder in the Premier League, me, in my I, opinion. I, I he's never he, been- You don't think so? No, Always never. Absolutely, absolutely not. Nev- I if think he's played in the same era as God, a certain someone dude. who's on my list, he, he, he wasn't. So who do you think- during David Silva's era. Nah, because there, there's he people on my list. And I don't yeah, I don't want to oh, say okay. it as well. And- um, He was different. I personally think he was just a different class. He, I, I think, I think, I think you're on crack. That's all right. I think, chief. I think you're on crack. You've lost the plot today. <laughs> I like, think- This is the, by far. <laughs> it's beyond me to think that you think David Silva, as a player, as output, as- in As comparison anything, to other players, anything. is better than Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne does everything David Silva does better, and he's added. I he's got the defensive side of the game, and his output. And his output. I don't agree with that. And his defensive side of the game. No, I said he's got the defensive side of the game. I don't agree with everything else you're saying. You don't he's think so much better than David Silva. I don't agree with that. I think he is. I don't agree with that. What's David Silva better at? I want to hear. I think he's a better all-round player. No, no, like apart from the defensive side. No, no, of no I things, just want to hear what he's better at. If you can say that. It's not everything. It's not oh, so no, so you just said he's not, he, you just said he's not better at everything. He controls the game a, a lot more. I think he controls the game a lot more better than Kevin yes, Bruyne. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's Watch him bullshit. bullshit. What? Yeah, you can think it's bullshit, innit? You can think it's because bullshit. Because you're not giving me proper justification. What is he better at? What is David Silva better at? I think he's at? better positionally. I think he can pick out a pass better. Obviously, David Silva has the range, better range, but I think in tight circles, David Silva is basically untouchable. You're not telling me that in that Sydney midfield, he wasn't levels. He was levels. That's why I had him at nine on my list. Well, I, had him, I had him at five, innit? But you don't have De Bruyne near I your list. De Bruyne He's not on your 12. list. Allow me. Would you say, Deny, that David Silva 
was playing against better competition in yeah, terms I of think midfield. I think the Premier than, now is dead. Then KDB is hundred percent. Like the ha- Premier now is dead. What do you, you what have? Are your Makaleli on your list. If Makaleli was, was the best DM in the Premier League, then I don't want to hear about the the Premier League being dead now. Makaleli was fucking good in the, the Premier League. And so the midfielders the I think now are wicked. better than Makaleli. So then and they play now. So then how was it how was it bad? My point makes sense. What you're saying makes zero sense. For what? you to say for you to say David Silva and Who's then playing not against say, better players. That's hundred percent. Bro, how? All right, what what midfielders right now? Who are the now? best DMs in the league when David Silva was playing? Just in D, just DMs. If you don't have them on your list, if you have them on your list, cool. Don't name them. No, if you have some on your list, if you don't have any, t- tell me some because I can't I can't remember who the best DM. Prem era 12, uh, 12, 13, 14 was some low points. That wasn't no, the think, best Prem era. I think after United. So lost, would you say that the Prem era right now is? I, I would say now is better than is then. 12, 13, it's 14. Better, I think now up until United won with Van Persie, then it got shit after that. So, so then. So Nine David Silva signed in 2010. So he played two years, two years in, in, a the, good in a good era and five. And the rest of his career in, in that you're saying is I think, the I think, greatest. No, but I think now is even worse. Brav. No, we need to go. I think now is even go. worse. We need to go. Uh, check to this go. guy into a hospital. Five, no, it's number four. <laughs> no, five. You didn't do your, you didn't do your five. Fab. Was yeah. Five. No, he was six. Was he six? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? This guy's got nine people on his list. No, no. I think you named your, your six was... Um, Kante, and then you named. No, no, no. Six I mean, was lamps. Then I, then I said Fab. Yeah, you're doing four. I yeah. Think. Oh yeah. I Are we up to four? That's what I, I said. thought. We all said Fabrias at the same point. Yeah, because De Bruyne was my five. Yeah. Yeah, and my five was because I went. F- wasn't you it like first? That? Yeah. Yeah, my five was Vieira. Yeah. yeah. Alright, sweet. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Four. It's come. These cappers, man. No, I was. I backed you, man. Alright, thank oh. you, bro. Oh. Alright, my four. Is Vieira. I'm not gonna argue with you, man. Higher as well. Not gonna argue. This is not something for me to argue, so you guys just- I had him, I can't, I had him higher, that's all I can say. Because I think he was just levels. But uh, to have him at four, I feel like, who, anyway, who did you have? Six? Lamps. 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 I think I've stopped listening to what Denai says. Yeah, I'm done. It's all right, I, yeah. I think- you can Stop listening to what I say. I had him higher than that. I've got him higher. Great player. Um, what are you saying? I've already had him. What's better than I was your... My four is Lampard. So, would, so if we're... Con- His whole body of work, Chelsea, ridiculous. His output was ridiculous. And based on how long he played in the Prem, I have to have him that high. To me, it's like, if I'm trying to be objective, if you're considering all those things, it's not... I'm not horrific. saying him having Lampard there is horrific. I'm saying his justification for not having KDB is horrific. That's okay. Well, Allow it. <laughs> because the things you keep saying about these players that you have them above, Kevin De Bruyne, is all the justification for having Kevin De Bruyne on the list. Kevin De Bruyne is a better player than Lampard. Maybe Kevin De Bruyne has- He doesn't have the output, obviously. Because yet. he hasn't played as yeah, many yeah. years. Yeah, of course. And he's not, the, he's not the same type of player- as Lampard, but he's a better footballer than, than Frank Lampard. And he has no accolades I, I also, I also to back think, it. I also think that footballers today now are all better footballers than footballers 10, 15 years ago. Because the game's just progressed. And overall standard. I, that's that's, that's what I think okay. as well. Can't, I, I can't really- But they're, 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 their, periods, their periods aren't that far apart. Because Lampard was playing in 13, 14. He was yeah. playing in 14, 15. But Kevin Bonner wasn't the one the player he is now in 13, 14. I'm because saying, he was but a if you're dude. giving if you're giving yeah. a two year, three year gap, it's not a generational gap. Yeah. You can't say back then because he was still playing throughout the period leading Lamp- up to you De Bruyne. Think about Lampard's era, it doesn't start in 13, 14. I'm not saying it starts, it starts but I'm saying like he's playing. Ball. He's still level, playing still at then. a high level. Yeah. Yeah. He's still starting for Chelsea. Then he goes to City to f- still play and end so his you career. So you want me to discredit? I'm not saying discredit. Ten years. I'm not saying discredit. No, 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 no. no. That's what I want I'm you saying. to come. Five years of Man City. So I want. I want you. My to... My man was a man at Chelsea, you know, and he didn't cut it. You know what? I what? want you to he come was at out. Chelsea at what age? As a youth. Yeah. As a youth. So I'm saying you want me to discredit Lampard's whole team. I want no. Years All I want you to come out is look at that camera and say I've done the shittest list this show will Bro, ever see. Brian was at Chelsea at th- what's what? So what's your point that he was at Chelsea yeah, and didn't cut it? You want me to discredit? You want me to discredit? I'm not saying discredit. I'm saying it's it's. Like, I feel as though it's clear 
that that De Bruyne is a better player than Lampard. If you say if you speak to output and stuff, you're right. He's better. His career is longer. So far, De Bruyne's still playing, so we can't say his output's better. Exactly. That's, um, but if so, you're saying your thing, your decision your is, is on, output. on output. Cool. No, then don't output. have David Silva. My only call don't out. have David Silva so high and say if it's output completely. weighs this much. Yeah, it's inconsistent. It doesn't make sense. I've had David Silva. I've had you know I've had Lampard over David Silva. Yes, but like David Silva is a better but, baller. But you said output, and Kevin De Bruyne has better output than David Silva. So wait, deny? Are you saying that? Lampard's output for you is was so great that, that that's why he's that's why you put him as your number four. And yes. I don't, and I'm not wait, arguing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm my sad. Four is <laughs> bro, I'm sad, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I thought my friends were better than this. I thought I'm not I friends, thought bro. I thought let's get on a podcast. Guys, we have good football opinions. People are gonna appreciate this. Then we get on here and and this is what's happening. So <laughs> everyone, I'm sorry. Like I'm I'm sorry. I don't know. There's nothing more I can do, really. I just my four has been said, but I love this player, Paul Scholes. Yeah, He's been said, and my number four, love him. Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes number four. Yeah. Another I one. I don't agree. I think if I watched you think him, he should be higher. I think so. I think. I, th- I think considering I could put him higher. Other, other I think if you I have Paul, this is how I feel. If you have Paul Scholes one, I wouldn't be angry at you. I think for me, if I watched him, it's the same as Vieira that. I would, I probably would have had him higher, but I'm not watching him every week being like, wow, Paul Scholes is an amazing best midfielder in the world at the time. I mean, being the best midfielder in the world apparently doesn't get you onto this list, so that's all right. Kazi. <sighs> and so, yeah, do you want me to run <laughs> top three? It's objective, I mean. The podium, the podium. So, this is the big three. top three. We're doing top three. Top three <laughs> best go. midfielders ever in the Prem. I have number three, Kevin De Bruyne. I have him at five, so I, I can't really say too much. I think I think three's very high. I think as I a think, footballer, I think, that's I think as a footballer, I have him over all the people yeah, I've said. Three is ridiculous. So I'm not going to comment. Uh, I, think I think that's people feel. I think that's too high. I think he's got trophies. I think he's got individual accolades. I think he's got the output. I think he's got individual football performances that put him there, in my opinion. And I'm not going to be too vexed about this. And being the best midfielder in the world so should weigh a lot. I'm I'm just going to wait to see what your top two is, and then I'll, I'll sure I'll wheel it back. Uh, my because look, I I, I I do agree as a footballer, this guy he's he's unbelievable. He's an unbelievable talent, but I think it's hard for me to justify a top three. Yeah, ever fair enough. In Premier but League, you to be fair, you watched like Vieira and these other players. Yeah, no, when, no. When no, I did, I'm, it. I'm not. Dis- I'm not saying. For me, I think my biggest thing was I wasn't sure if you could justify him being in the top ten yet. That wasn't me saying he wasn't good enough. I feel I like I can justify. Maybe you it. couldn't justify it, but for me to justify top three, I feel like, like I can. I don't. I I just don't see it. My, n- <laughs> my number three. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm happy with him being three because he could easily be four and he could easily be five, but I'm happy to to mix those three around is Stevie G. He was my number three as well. I think if I could have easily put Skulls three, him four, wouldn't have made a difference to me. I could have put him him four, like an, another player. Like I think the it's really close for me for my top four, five players. I'd, I'd maybe I'd keep the f- the top four the same way, but the order could change. But I, he's this is the first time he's been on anyone's list, so he's obviously yeah. higher on both your lists. So he's my number, yeah. he's my number three. He does everything, exactly what we were saying for De Bruyne. Stevie G. He does he does everything. And for oh yeah, Fabrice, Stevie G does everything. Yeah, he's, he's a unbelievable. So I mean, I've got him higher. So super respectfully, yeah. but Stevie G for me does every everything in football as a midfielder. That can be asked of any player ever. And I also think it's criminal, not criminal, but I think it's, you, he shouldn't be compared as closely to Lampard. As, I think as people you think, I think Lampard's too close to him. Yeah, yeah. too close for comparison. Him, yeah. Which, because there are people that think Lampard's better than yeah, no, CVG. No, 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 they are. 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 He is not. But then that shouldn't be a comparison. As footballers, Steven Gerrard is, is top, uh, in my opinion, top, the best English midfielder ever, in my opinion. Yeah, I, ha- I have to agree. Yeah, I agree. Just based best? on my list. Yeah, 100% yeah. I agree with that. Based on my list. The best English midfielder be. ever for me, yeah, Stevie G, I'm 100%. But as I said, if Skulls was my three and he was four, 
Um, I could back it. So, what's yeah. your three, MJ? My three, African man. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. two, my two. Yeah, yeah. My two, my two as well. Yeah, yeah. My two. I think you can't. What's it called? For me, I, yeah. I can't justify him being anything more than that, purely because the titles. Some of these other guys had won. And just the longevity of their careers and the level. I think that longevity. I think fair. he has. So I think I think that just extends. But do you also think being? Do you higher. also think? But titles. I think um, you, have, you have you have Steve Jarrett, J above him. Yeah. Oh no, because like Champions League, like in the Prem. I think for me I that, think, that's like that's a big one. I think Yaya had the best career as a best season as a midfielder ever. Yeah, he's had yeah. the best yeah. midfield I season. To, I have ever. to have him. In, I, nah, have him. I think that Yaya Toure is criminally underrated. I think he's he's. He's he should be in different conversations to the ones he's in. He shouldn't be considered again. Yeah, he shouldn't be considered anything but in the best midfielders ever to play in the Prem. prem. And he's he's not talked about enough in in the same conversation as Gerard Scholes. Why do you think Lampard? In my opinion, he's had the he was he's had the most dominant like as a midfielder has ever been. Absolutely. He's had the, he's been that the most dominant to do what he did on at his size, at his size. Different. And and he's got that power and speed and technical ability as high as the next guy. Then scoring 20 goals in a season from center mid is not even and doing everything. And every do, goal, yeah, everything, everything you can think set of. Set pieces. He, he scored for kicks everything. better than the next guy. So, I mean, like there's no, there's I, nothing. I think playable. And I think he's different. You knew when he picked up the ball at like yeah, the back 30, he's going to run in the whole he's not, pitch. He's no not losing the ball. He's not losing like the ball. from 40 yards out, top left. <laughs> like, yeah, against Arsenal, like you striker, know that guy. I know about striker that, man. Striker techers. No, no yeah. joke, like striker No joke techers. techers. African techers. <laughs> nah. Af- African players are either extremely good at finishing or, or it's just awful. it's a shambles. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you can't have two dark-skinned African centre-backs. <laughs> what? Look, man. It's, it's, you can't do that. It's by far, just it's just by far, it it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it literally <laughs> does no. not. I just wanted to put that out. What, there. <laughs> this is this is how I know as well because the two best teams in the world for the last two years were Liverpool and Bayern, and I saw Bayern play with Boateng and Alaba at centre back, and I saw Liverpool play with Van Dijk and Gomez. So or I have Matty. no idea. Matty, their Van third centre back was Matty. I have no idea what the fuck you're Gomez talking is light about. Skin. If you had said African keeper, cool. <laughs> but Gomez is light skin. Jesus. <laughs> um, I always say our number ones. MJ, you lead it. No, it's number. It's, MJ's got to say two. he's two. My number two. My number two. It's definitely not the surprise. Stevie G. I th- I just think for me his career. The longevity in his career, Champions League. He's just an he's just a phenomenal player. Yeah, I think it's just and it's it's hard for me to justify any other midfielders. I think the him. only thing you can look at for him is not winning the Premier League, which is fair enough. Like you played in the, the Premier League for he so slipped. long, you should have won the league. Definitely, and it hurts that he didn't, but he should have. But as a footballer, he is. There's nothing you can argue about as a footballer. His not desire to win everything. Just his his loyalty to the captain. club. Captain, you think he should have left him being a leader? No. Nah. I mean, do you, do you think do you think uh, do you think he could have played with Lampard? No, I don't think. That's for me, if, England. for me, if you look at that England lineup, do you think Lampard and Gerrard fit into that system? For me, if he leaves, go to Madrid or something. Yeah, that was an option, that's wasn't it? it? Yeah, it was an they did want him. Go to Madrid, but it's like you can't say I don't know. You can't say like, they, he they didn't stayed. work for England because I think was it. Um, they don't work for Erickson? England because this, you're you're, just, you're 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 not smart. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to play them all if you can exactly. fit the best players in, fit the better ones in, put the players who are the best in that position, not move other players around to play exactly so that everyone can play. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But anyway, you're number one, two. Number no, two. we all said Yaya. Yeah, was yeah, out yeah, two. Yaya's out two. Oh yeah, so, so that was my two. So two. my number one. Um, Skulls. Yeah, I don't. Ha- As I said yeah, before, I don't have an issue. Yeah, with one to three. He's easily got the most one, titles one, one by two, <laughs> one to four. Yeah. times two times three. I can't so understand. The accolades, I can't understand Champions that. League. Everything. I had a different. I had a different. Other other thing. footballers treble at that elite world class level. Say he's say the best, he's the best yeah. that they've seen. Which is yeah. For me, there was no debate agree. for that. So he's my number one. Who do you have one? Patrick Vieira. That's my one. Patrick, I think this guy. My number one, Stevie G. But talk about Patrick Vieira. Did that O2 Vix on the top? Bro, he performed this, hybrid my, days. my biggest thing about Vieira is I, DM I'm trying goals. to think of players that that have 
that play similar and have a, the same effect, like the same impact in that sort of role. And I don't think they exist. No one, not anymore. I don't There's think no you way. can be a midfielder who is is that good going forward, that good defensively and that and imposing and and he is he's dominating the game he's he grabbing the game literally by the scruff of the neck and and and, and and he's dominating the game from start to finish whether he whether he's not the the the, the best footballer he's not a, the best footballer on this list but his footballing ability is high enough that that the the two things balance and he captained an invincible season Invincible season, multiple titles. He's got three league titles. Yeah, he's different, mm-hmm. man. He was like different. he's 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 done everything. Do you think? And as a midfielder, he he did everything. Do you think the players, so the players below him, Stevie G, Skulls, all that that like we all have. I think yeah, the best um, him. Vieira was never the best player on the team, but like Stevie G was the best player, yeah. and people would say Skulls is the best player on the team. Yeah, but I think but he's but playing with the best player. In my opinion, in ever the prem, in the prem, in the prem. Yeah. so it's it's one of those things for me where it's like it was a product of just playing with such an unbelievable talent and an unbelievable player in Henri that you're not going to get the credit that yeah. you probably deserve, and and the reason why Henri might have been so good is because and having can, somebody like that in your side. And I know that Vieira doesn't get the credit he deserves because I see people the continue disrespect. to this day have Vieira the and disrespect. Roy Keane in the same in the same that conversation. That is not conversation. That's, that's one conversation. That Notice how Roy Keane's on nobody's list. Of have you noticed? He shouldn't be. He just shouldn't It makes be. me sick. Roy Keane, 30 to 40. If you're upset Roy Keane isn't on this list, you should go have a look in the mirror, I'm telling you. It makes me, it, like, it's And upsetting. if you're looking in the mirror, you're probably looking at Deny. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, as in, wait. Because you're an idiot. As in Denai's, <laughs> Denai's looking in, in the, the mirror, mirror behind yeah. you or nah, you're nah. Deny? You're Denai. <laughs> Denai's yeah, clapping. Right, here we go, bro. Here we go. Denai's bro. clapping. What? <laughs> oh, don't violate like that, bro. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Listen. Uh. We're saying Patrick Vieira number one. Our list right here. I won't argue it, but you know, I, it's, I, I, I like the shout. And at the yeah. end of the day, it's... It's objective. It's objective. It's subjective, yeah. But yeah, that's so let us that. know who had the worst. No, you don't even have to let us know. We know who had the worst. No, worst. That's unanimous. Come on, man. No, no, it's Come unanimous on, for man. this, I think. Come on, man. Brothers. Ask him. Stop trying to ask MJ like yeah. he's going to back I'm you. To, I'm talking to the crowd. No, Please, you're not. Brothers. You're talking to MJ. Be like, yo, my guy. Yeah. You, got, you got me on this one. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. You got me. Come Did on. Say, Did I ever say that, bro? Come yeah. on. MJ, look at this man. MJ, look at these guys. Why are you putting Come him in on. that position? Oh now he has to sit there being like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No crowd, man, these brothers. Yes. Nah, seriously, get in the comments, please. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know. Let us know what topics you want us to do. We probably won't listen, but let us know. I'll listen, don't worry. So let him shoot. Yeah.